Okay, I just have a little bit more to share with you and then I'll wrap up the chapter nine lecture. I was just talking about uh, merle coat pattern in dogs and uh, how how what's known as a double merle dog can be produced. It's when you have two normal merle colored dogs. Um, what happens is each puppy in a litter has a 25% chance of being a double merle. Now, what is a double merle? A double merle dog uh, usually has uh, very little pigmentation. It's usually mostly white. And the sad thing is eye and ear abnormalities are common. Um, some of these can be really severe. So this can be full blindness and full deafness, including um, a lack of the complete eyeball as seen in this Great Dane here, um, a reduced and less functional eye as seen in this Australian Shepherd here. Um, occasionally you will have a relatively normal functioning dog, um, but usually there's going to be at least some degree of deafness, blindness, or both. Now, why would anybody want to produce a double merle dog? Uh, most people are not wanting to produce a double merle dog. Uh, it usually happens uh, just with a lack of knowledge, but sadly there are actually there have actually been documented cases of uh, kennels purposefully producing double merle dogs. And they do that because if you cross a double merle dog with a non merle dog, so here's a black tri Australian Shepherd here crossed with a double merle Australian Shepherd that's um, that may or may not have some degree of hardship as a result of its characteristics. Um, what you get out of this litter is 100% of the puppies are going to be normal Merle. And people really like Merle dogs. They're, they're beautiful. I mean, I think they are. They have a very striking coat pattern. They're very desirable. Sometimes breeders can sell these dogs for more money than other uh, coat patterns. And we just have this really sad case of um, a lack of ethics in animal breeding as a result. Now it's, I'm not going to say it's common, but it does happen. But it's, it, it is very important to keep in mind that genetics have real life consequences for the animals that, that you're producing. So with a breeding program, it's really important that you have a good understanding of genetics and genetic disorders and how uh, various alleles can come together to cause problems in the animal. Okay, so that's going to wrap up my chapter nine lecture. Let me know if you have any questions, of course.